Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Happy to report, got pretty normal conditions for out here lately. Catching water, fast moving trade winds, intermittent trade wind showers, accumulating water, and pumping water as we speak. Right there. Had about a thousand gallons in here I could make use of, put it in my main holding tank. Like seeing that thin coat of algae down there, doesn't bother me at all. Been pumping that water with this portable power station from Opus. It was 100% full when I started about two and a half hours ago. Down to 69%, still drawing 192 watts. And that's just what that pump draws, right? Right about 190 to 200. Doesn't fluctuate much. Move probably six, 700 gallons easy already on what, 30%. So everybody out here where I live catches water. You know, the rain comes down, hits the roof. You funnel that down into your catchment tank. Uh, there is no pipe water or city water or anything like that out in this rural area. And, you know, it was just a couple of weeks ago I saw water trucks lined up at the water stations around town hauling water to people. And the last I checked when I got very close to needing some water, I've never had to purchase water out here. I've had to contemplate it before. And the last time I checked many, many months ago when I was getting kind of low in my catchment tank, it was well over $400 for 2,000 gallons. So kind of expensive. And regardless of the price, they wouldn't drive their trucks down these roads to deliver. So we are 100% uh, relying on what falls from the sky onto our roof into our catchment tanks. So, conservative at best with water. So yeah, the water falls from the sky. I catch it, I hang on to it, and I'll show you where we're pumping that today. You can hear the water trickling in there from the hose. Pumping at about 100 feet to here in this larger holding tank. And you can see my cover is sagging a little bit. So that is the water level, pretty full. When it gets completely full, it'll spill out the overflow valve. Got a, quite a few inches before that happens, maybe about six inches. I can still fit into that. So it's gonna get near full in today's pumping operation, and then I've made room in that other tank to catch another thousand gallons, which it looks like we're gonna be doing that. So that's, that's kind of how I do it out here. This gets pulled, or when this water level floats this tarp up a little bit more, I'll stretch it back tight again. But that doesn't bother me most. Keep it covered so I don't build an abundance of algae in here, which comes from here through a filter, a couple different filters into the house, and that's great water. I don't think I'll catch enough or pump enough today to make it spill out, but it'll be darn close. So I think it was Bill Mollison that wrote in his permaculture book that. Uh, the sign of a healthy water system would be a thin layer of algae on the inside of your catchment tank. So although that one that I showed you in the beginning keeps a thin layer, uh, keeps the water healthy, I'm not growing as much in that bigger tank. There's still a little bit of algae in there and I'm absolutely fine about that. So then I pull it off of that big holding tank, run it through a uh, 20 micron filter, well, first of all, I run it through a heavier sediment filter to catch any heavier sediment that might be in that larger holding tank, which there really is no heavy sediment in there. But I still run it through 
a larger strainer to catch, you know, something that could possibly be bigger. Run it into a 20 micron filter uh, and then through a five micron filter. And after the five micron filter, I use everything uh, after that point, uh, everything, shower, dishwater, uh, washing machine, toilet. So everything's been filtered down pretty good. And then for drinking purposes, as I've showed you guys, I have uh, several different RO systems that I can deploy for drinking water. And I've never had a problem doing that out here at all. I do fine. Of course, I'm not telling you what to do with your water because Every little place has different water issues, as we do as well out here. But that style of filtration is working good here in the subtropics. I've never had any problems. We do have a few pathogens to be aware of. By the time it goes into my body, I've dealt with all of those possibilities. So all of the water we use, no matter where I've lived, it all came from the sky, came to me in different ways, but yeah, trade winds blowing, intermittent showers, and some of the showers coming through here lately have been impressive, and that's nice. I can fill up this uh, tank that I'm catching the first runoff on, and it can fill up pretty quick. And with this particular power station, I can typically move a thousand gallons using about 50% of its state of charge. And I'd have enough water left over and I'm still pumping as you can see, 192 watts still rock steady. That'll probably hold true for today too. It's always pretty darn close. I can move about a thousand gallons at 50% and then I'll let that other tank fill up. And in the meantime, I'll move this back onto some solar. It'll be full, 100% full for the next time. So as you can hear the water trickling, hopefully, <laughs> I'm really happy to report much more normal conditions. You know, plenty of sunshine for the solar system, plenty of rain for all the water needs. You can see some darker activity up there. We're supposed to catch some tonight too, and I'm just about overflowing here. Yeah, very good. And for those of you that might be wondering if I never saw another raindrop this full, I could make last many, many months. But when everything's overflowing, I probably take an extra shower or two. And I hope the weather's cooperating for all of you out there. Coming into summer, guys. Coming into summer. Catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Aloha. Best of both worlds. Plenty of sun, plenty of water. Everything after that's gravy. No complaints out here, at least not right now.